you know, the idea that uh, the justices on the Supreme Court are looking at mass murder after mass murder and increasing gun violence all over the country in their own neighborhoods. I mean, they don't want guns in the Supreme Court. They don't want anybody carrying a gun in their neighborhood. Um, and uh, it, it looks nevertheless that they are willing to open this door to what I think will be uh, much more violence, much more harm, many more deaths. It's similar in that they are both restrictive in terms of uh, right to carry. Um, in Maryland, you have to have a good and substantial reason. That's the way uh, our regs read. And they're interpreted to be that uh, you, your life has to be in danger, but it, you know, it, has, it has the same effect, but it, they take a different approach than we do. And the, what, what I think um, we expect is that if the Supreme Court throws out New York's right to carry law, that ours, which is, has been upheld repeatedly, but, but is now in the Fourth Circuit, um, will be uh, viewed in an unfavorable light. Um, if they say it's unconstitutional, then we'll have to carefully study that opinion and try to tailor uh, Maryland's laws and regs so that uh, we can be protective of our residents um, and still fit within their interpretation of the Second Amendment. I think they're going down a very dangerous path. I mean, you have to be living in a cave not to understand the dangers that are posed by assault weapons in the United States. Um, but I think there's a, there's a chance that they're going to say, hey, you can't ban assault weapons.